Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with an important topic and a question that is bothering a lot of DevOps engineers. A lot of people message me on LinkedIn. A lot of people comment on my YouTube videos asking, Abhishek, how do I make my resume or how how my DevOps resume is different from others DevOps resume, DevOps engineers resumes, and why I'm not getting enough number of calls. So today I'm coming here with an answer. and uh, i'll not only correct a resume of one of our subscribers but i'll also show you a tool at the end of this video which can help you build your devops resumes you can write practical scenarios even though you don't have knowledge working on a specific tool in real time environment you can watch this video you can watch the tool that i'm suggesting at the end of this video and you can build your resume on the tools that you have not even worked on you can write scenarios you can write proof of concepts or you can copy the points from there but what i would suggest is rather than just copying you should go ahead and learn those things build some theoretical knowledge do some proof of concepts but today our focus is how to build the resumes how to write your resume and then the important tool that i'm talking about where you have i mean where you will gain experience of writing your devops resumes on your own okay perfect so wait for that magical tool before that i have a resume of one of our subscriber who is a 2 years old uh, devops engineer and uh, you know he is working as a devops engineer but unfortunately he did not get most of the chances like you know he in the current uh, system they are not working on kubernetes they are not working on terraform they are only working on aspects related to build and engineer so today we are here to help help him correct his resume and uh, you know we'll also look at the points what have gone wrong in his resume why he is not getting enough number of calls so firstly devops engineer okay have hidden the details of the subscriber for you know for some obvious reasons and then work experience assistant systems engineer devops engineer okay and then the points here like if i am a interviewer or if any interviewer is picking up your resume they would be interested on these points they would be interested and they would straight forward come here and look into your experience in the current project so in the current project working and managing aws infrastructure this is very less you shouldn't ever never ever write this add more points about your aws experience say that i have worked on these services on aws so some people ask me like i have worked on lot of number of services in aws how can i put all of them so if you have worked on lot of number of services add you know only uh, services that are important to you like what are your core strength or add services in such a way let's say that uh, you don't want to write all the services around uh, your ec2 instance just say that i have experience with uh, networking services on aws i have a uh, experience with compute services on aws i have experience with storage services on aws experience with container solutions like eks and fargate so put all of them here rather than just mentioning that i have experience with aws because 99% of people will write this point how are you different okay after that if you have any issues on aws that you have solved in real time put that that will that will add a lot of uh, mileage to your resume okay after that working with terraform workspaces to deploy kubernetes applications to aws again terraform is an infrastructure as code tool the major purpose of terraform is to automate infrastructure on any cloud platform so put that instead of saying that uh, terraform workspaces to deploy kubernetes applications to deploy kubernetes applications you can use ansible you can use any other tool but with terraform what you have done experience with ansible for configuration management okay created ci cd pipelines with jenkins and managed job scheduling oh this is very less okay so if you are a devops engineer you should elaborate your resume on ci cd so i'll show you uh, like i told you there is a magical tool that will help you in writing if you don't have knowledge on ci cd pipelines so wait for this video till the end and uh, i'll tell you how to write this but for now instead of just saying created ci cd pipelines what you can do is that say i have built ci cd pipelines with jenkins and i have automated the build and release process in the current organization wherein i have tool integrated tools with jenkins such as maven if you are on java and uh, if you are on any other build language put that like gradle or whatever you are using and after that say i have automated sonar queue for security scanning or i have automated uh, selenium for automation testing whatever it is and then i have also integrated jenkins pipeline with kubernetes for the continuous delivery so you have to add all of those points okay after that knowledge on docker kubernetes again this is very less you have to add your practical experience with docker and kubernetes this does not help anyways so there is one more blunder in this uh, resume that is working with infrastructure as service which is fine but it's not iaac it's iaas like you have pass here you have sas here it should be iaas 
so if you do such mistakes in your resume it will never be picked up okay after that you should add more points here okay unfortunately this is very less add points around because i have see, i see certification related to python why don't you put more points related to python because python adds a lot of uh, value to your resume do some proof of concept put that in your resume even if it's a proof of concept it's still fine okay so you have highlighted some skills here which is very good for the resume or the interviewer to identify what are your key skills personal project launching web server and website in a docker container using ansible or aws ec2 instance okay so if you are doing such things don't put that in a way that uh, you know whoever is your interviewer thinks that you have done some very lame proof of concept or very easy proof of concept rather than say that i have built a system on my own and deployed this system in a docker container and then migrated this entire system onto aws and deployed that using ansible so how much difference does it does it make like rather than saying launching web server and website say that i have built an entire system which is based on a uh, simple java application or a simple python application so elaborate in that way after that this is again you see here iaac on terraform there is no iaac in devops it's called iac infrastructure as code so this is again a blunder in your resume which is not at all correct okay so if you are making mistakes like this and this in your resume so uh trust me your resume will not even be picked up for interviews okay so these are the things that you have to change in your resume and uh, i have uh, i mean i have sent a detailed uh, notes for the person who's who owns this resume so you know uh, i thought that i'll come on to the live to also share with you people here but uh, even before this i have actually written the entire notes and i've shared with the person who messaged me on linkedin and i hope it will found i mean he'll find it useful okay after that uh, okay so if we move ahead and uh, uh, let me show you that important tool that i'm talking about and uh, trust me that will this will be very helpful for whosoever uh, does not have real time working experience or you know some people do not have uh, like how do i say practical experience on some tools which is quite common okay we cannot expect everybody to know everything so so here you go there is a tool called hire it okay so hire it and uh, just click on enter so go to the website called hire it and once you go there click on you know so this is a hire it portal and in the hire it you have lot of things but our primary focus is looking at the resume builder of hire it so okay you can also do this hire it Uh, resume database just search for high it resume database and here you have resume of lot of devops engineers java developers business analysts quality assurance engineers everybody so because we are interested in devops so what i will do is come here search for devops and click on search resumes instead of sort by relevance what you can do is sort by date so that you will find out the latest uh, devops engineer resumes and then click on your i mean whatever resume that you are looking for let's say that i am looking for a senior devops engineer so click on this and here you can find devops engineer resumes which who has practical experience on the devops background so you can uh, typically look at how they are writing their resumes and you know how do you want to uh, like don't literally copy from here but uh, try to understand what they have written and uh, you know make some minor modifications if you have done some proof of concepts around the same things uh, replace it with uh, these points and uh, maybe you can form your resume in a better way but this is very useful for people who want to uh, build their devops resume and do not have proper knowledge or proper working experience so let's say i want to uh, build my devops resume around splunk because i'm looking for jobs around splunk so go for this resume and search for uh, simply points on splunk okay so work dash splunk admin to manage authentication around these applications and monitoring states so you might have done the same thing maybe you can copy the point or you know you can slightly modify the point or i'm looking for uh, let's say azure devops okay so simply come here search for azure devops and what you can do is sort by date you'll find a cloud devops engineer with azure experience come here search for azure okay, you have lot of points around uh, azure devops here so maybe uh, you might also have worked with uh, you know azure so like this is the same point that i'm talking around aws so if you see here like this is the same thing that i was mentioning at the start of the video instead of just mentioning aws with azure or aws put the points in this way expertise in architecting and implementing azure service offering such as azure cloud services azure storage azure active directory so this is what i'm talking about put the services that are 
very important for you or you know put the services that are in the job description that you are applying for okay i hope uh, you found this video useful and uh, if at all you want uh, me to do more videos on uh, these kind of things so please comment on the video and i'll definitely take your comments and uh, if you want me to do a, a next video on a specific topic also comment that and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel thank you i'll see you on the next video bye